Hello everybody, it's Wendy and today we're going to make a necklace using the Jesse James Magical Mystery Bead Box for September 2022, which was called Autumn Flight. So first of all, our encouraging word for today is better an oops than a what if. <laughs> and the reason I have this card out today is because I have a little bit of a different idea in mind and we're going to try it out, see if it works. It may be an oops, but we won't know, you know, it's better an oops than a what if. So we'll see. Um, so you're going to, if you want to make this necklace, and this is using, again, the Magical Mystery Bead Box, you're going to need the Luna Moth Pendant. You're going to need both of the little wing charms. You're going to need a mixture of whatever beads you want to use, and I've just taken a couple of the different mixes and picked out what I wanted that was in the box this month. You're going to need some jump rings. I've got a one for the lobster to clasp onto one to put my lobster on, and one, what were these for? Eh, I can't remember, but <laughs> we'll see in a minute. Um, some jump rings, you're gonna need them. You're gonna need a lobster claw, and then these are some little fold over cord ends. You're going to need some of those, and the reason I have those is I'm using some leather. This is one millimeter leather, and I have got this cut into two pieces that are, a little over 12 inches, about 13 inches, uh, so about 26 inches. So 26 inches and 26 inches right here, but I've got them folded over, so we're gonna use them folded over. So you need two 26 inch pieces of leather and your tools, and I think that's everything. So gather up your stuff and we'll see how this is gonna work. All right, so when I saw these wings, I knew that I kind of wanted to use them on this Luna Moth pendant. I just think it's really pretty. So we're just going to take this. We're going to open the jump ring. Now, these wings have two different ways. You can put them down or you can put them facing up. I want this part to be down. And I'm just going to take them and I'm going to hook them right here in this open space, I think. If it will go on. I think it will have to get it in there the right way there we go okay so I'm just hooking that right in this one open space here on this moth and that let me twist it back around it's gonna make them just kind of hang there like that which is what I want I think they're really cool looking and this one I want to get it the same direction okay And we're going to do the same thing with this one. Right over here, through the same space on the other side. Okay. And there we have it. Now, there that is. I think that's really cool looking. Okay. So now we're going to take our leather. And I wanted to do something a little bit different with this leather. So I'm taking it matching up the ends and I'm going to go and with this little part right here I want to hook it through this outer part right here if I can get it to go through there now it may be too thick to go through this part I may have to put it through the one right above it uh, we'll see or I could use a jump ring but I kind of wanted it to go right onto here but I don't know that that's going to work I may have to use one of these jump rings I want this to be I don't I really, really want the leather to be hanging on the outer edges here. So I may have to use a jump ring. Let me see if I can get it through there. It's one millimeter. This is a tiny little, I could go through the bot, the second one down. Let me try that and see how that works. And then I'm just going to take the thread, the other two pieces here and put them through here. Let's see how it works if I do it down that second one. And then I'm just going to tighten it. Now, actually, I did it backwards. I want it to go the other way. So, I'm going to flip it. I need it to go from the front through to the back. And then we'll take our little pieces and put them through that. And that's just going to make it look a little bit better. That makes the loop part. Whoops, don't get it hung up on your moth. There we go. That makes the loop part, um, I don't know, I just like the way this looks better. Okay, so, you know, that's probably okay. Let's, let's do the other side. And again, you want to take it from the front 
through to the back and then put the little cords through this way yeah there we go and that just makes the little um this part hang in the front it just looks better okay so we've got our wings which are flipping around here a little bit oh no that one came off ah let's put it back on there if you don't get your jump ring closed up real good apparently the wings will come off and i did not have my jump ring closed up really good so let's put it back on funny thing is if i had tried to get those to come off there i probably wouldn't have been able to but since i don't want them to <laughs> they do all right put it right back on there there's a little hole through the tool or whatever it is these wings are made out of it's not tool there we go all righty back on the butterfly or on the moth this way okay close it up good this time see i get these ideas in my head <laughs> sometimes they work out and sometimes they don't We'll see how this one does. All right. Those are not supposed to be laying that way. I do want them to kind of go over like this. Okay, there we go. All right, so now what I wanted to do is I wanted to take these pieces of leather and I wanted to bead just on the inside ones. Okay, so I've got two pieces you can see here. One, two. I wanted to bead just on the inside. So let's see what it looks like if we do that and you can this leather this one millimeter leather holds these beads you can bead directly on it which surprised me but that's a good thing and when I realized that I thought well it was well maybe not that guy I thought it would be really cool just to bead directly on this leather and I may just have to cut this one a little more into a sharper little see if that helps There we go. And if you have trouble, you can take your plier and kind of pull the end maybe and get it out. Or sometimes if you twist, it'll get the bead on. But now that other one went on. There we go. It's going. It's just a little tight. So I wanted to just bead up the middle pieces. And I want these pieces to stay separate. So let's see. Let's do that guy. Let me get my beads out here. and get them untangled from the jump rings and the cord ends there we go so i can see what i've got okay so that guy let's do this one okay and then let's go ahead and do a bead cap and this bigger bead. And another bead cap. And this will not bead entirely up the leather. It will only bead just a little way up. I didn't want to bead the whole thing. And I was tempted even to go up just a little bit and make a knot and then start the beads. Like come up to here make a knot and start the beads and I may still do that I can't decide we'll see how it looks when we get everything on we can always do that later slide them up and make a knot that's no big deal okay let's do another one of these another one of these on this one I don't know why this side of the leather has trouble putting these beads on. That other side didn't have any problem. Ugh. That's crazy. Why are you having so much trouble? It's the same width of the leather. Or it's supposed to be. Let me trim that again. Sometimes you have to cut it at a really sharp point. That 
gets it on there, but will it go through? That is really odd that the other side goes so easily. Okay, um, then let's do this cube. And then we're going to do a bead cap in this larger opaque bead. Same thing over here. Okay, I don't know if these little rondelles, they're not going to go on there. They're way tiny. Okay, those won't work. Um, let's go back with this guy. Yeah, now it's not wanting to go on this side. Huh. Sometimes you just have to try a couple different ones, and if they won't work, you just have to cut it really pointy if you can. Twist your bead. That helps sometimes to get the leather up through there. It's like once we get them started, they go, but it's hard to get them started. And the other side, this side was doing just fantastic. Now it's being difficult. If you can get it to coming out the top and get a grasp on it, then you're usually pretty good. There we go. Let's see if I can get this one on. Yeah, it's going a little easier than the other side now. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do one of these. Then our big one. And then one more of these. Okay, same thing over here, one of these guys, our big one, and one more of those little ones. Okay, so, here's kind of what I'm wanting. And I think I am going to move these up a little. I like the look of that better. So I'm just going to move them up. Make a little knot in the leather so that they're kind of up here. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. Okay, so scoot them way up. They're going to have to go through there. And just pull them through, and then you can adjust the knot where you want it to go. Okay, so then we'll scoot it up here. I kind of like that. Yeah, that's good. I want to do the other side the same if we can. <laughs> Get those out of the way. Just try to get that even. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that better. And I may even put another knot up here just gives it kind of like a sectioned off. I could even do a knot there and then come up here and do a little bit of another one. That might look good too. To just space that out a little. Yeah, I do like that. So I'm going to do a knot right on top of this one section that I just made. The thing is you got to get the beads through there. 
which they will go, but those little ones don't want to scoot very well. Let me scoot these way up. Okay, here we go. Sometimes you have to put it on and just see how it looks before you really can decide what you want to do. Okay, now let's scoot this down, this knot down. And I want it right on top of that cube. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I like that better. That's That looks better, spaced out a little. Okay, let's do this side. Scoot this right down on top of the cube. Just like that. And then I'm going to scoot this up. And do a knot right about there. I like that. It just spaces it out a little and gives it a little bit of a, I don't know. I like it. <laughs> so we'll take all these through here. And I'm just going to go up a little ways. Right about like that. That's good. Do the same over here. Bring all the beads through there. Okay, and I want to even this one with this one, so just you can pretty well eyeball it. It doesn't have to be scientifically exact, but I tend to just eyeball it. All right, now we've got our last two here and I'm just gonna make a knot right on the top of each one of these so these won't float too much. Not that they really will. I mean, when you have this on, it's gonna hang, So, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. For continuity's sake. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So there's what we've got, and this thing came off again. Oh my goodness, why? I had that jump ring closed up really well, I thought. It is closed up really well. Why are you coming off? I don't understand. That jump ring was completely closed. Put it back on here. Try again. I really like the way these little wings look on this moth. Because they're transparent and you can still kind of see the, the outline of the moth underneath. It's kind of a cool effect, but this guy won't stay on here. I don't know. We'll have to glue it, maybe. Let me flip it. Alrighty, bud, stay on. Put you on twice now. I don't know why you're coming out. Okay, make sure it's closed up really good. I can feel that clicking on the jump ring, so. Okay. Let's see if that stays. Okay, so now kind of what I'm wanting to do is take this leather. And I just, I really liked the idea of the inside one being beaded and the outside one not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to pull it tight, and I'm going to cut so they're even. And I'm going to take these little um, fold-over cord ends, 
and I'm putting each piece of leather in its own cord end. Okay, so here's the one. And I would like to do it to where the uh, fold overs face the back if I can. So I'm just laying it in there like this. And it's good if you have a flat nosed um, pair of pliers to do this. Like these. These work really good. I just lay it in there. Actually, I usually try to grab it like this with my thumbnail on the end over there. And then I just take these and just lay it down. You don't want to lay it down so hard that it cuts your leather. And it can. You just want to lay it down enough to where it grips it in there. Okay, so just kind of do it gently at first. And then just take your pliers and flatten it. And it makes a really good, solid connection. You just, as long as you don't cut your leather with it, which I've done before. So just kind of be careful of that. You don't want to do that. Again, grabbing with my thumbnail right there and holding. And then just lay this down. And these little flat nose pliers do a great job of laying that down. You can use any flat nose plier that you have. And just take it, bend it over. There we go. And we're going to do that to all four strands. Doing the same thing to this one. I just grab, put that in there, grab it with my thumbnail on the very end, right there, and lay it down. Okay, and last one. Oh, you know what? I didn't trim this one up. Let me trim this one up that it's even with the other one. Okay. All right, flip it. There we go. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our lobster and a jump ring, and a jump ring and our other ring, and we're going to open our jump ring up. Make sure you get your inside piece on the inside, just like this. Your outside piece next. And you do have to have kind of a thin jump ring to go through these little things. And I'm gonna hook it right to my ring for the lobster. Close this up. Just like that. Same thing over here. Inside ring, nope. One's got to go first. Then this one. And then our lobster. Okay. And there we have it. I think it's a cool little necklace myself. Um, let me put it in my light box and you can see how it hangs. Now, if you don't like that the cords are kind of loose like this, um, I'm going to put it on the light box and see how it hangs. But you could obviously, if you wanted to, you could tie a knot right here and make that kind of come in here. You could tie a knot right here. So you could tie those if you wanted to, but I kind of want to see how it hangs just like this. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here's our finished necklace. Um, I did take a couple of dabs of E6000 glue and just glue the wings the way that I want them to lay because I was afraid that they would flop around a little bit too much. So I did do that. And then I haven't tied these cords together, but you could if you wanted to. They just kind of crisscross and 
uh, do their own thing, which is fine with me. Um, so I think it looks pretty good. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I will um, link the Magical Mystery Bead Box in the description box below this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!